What do we need to select the proper slew bearing or worm drive for lifting machinery? Let's have a look at producer's specification. A part of dimensions, we need to look at the permissible load diagram. Every bearing permissible load is limited by axial load and tilting moment, and they must be within the permissible load range. Under the limit line taking into account safety margins at the most adverse positions of the machine and load combinations. Let's move on to the calculations we need. The axial load on the bearing equals the lifted weight in kilo newtons, regardless of the distance from the bearing. The tilting moment equals the same load multiplied by horizontal distance to the bearing. Then, the axial load and moment generated by the jib extension can be calculated same way, to its center of gravity. The same calculation apply to for the main arm and for the column. Once we have everything, we can calculate the total axial load and the tilting moment acting on the bearing, bearing in mind that moment from column MC acts opposite to the other moment in this case. If you are designing a loading crane, you will find the details of load combinations that cover dynamic factors, wind loads, and safety factors in EN12999. For aerial work platforms, you will find details in EN280 standard. They are both C-type standards what means, they provide presumption of conformity with machinery directive. Once we have these data, we can proceed to bearing or drive initial selection. You can go to data sheets, or you can use our Excel selection tool which will help you to choose the right size and save records for your project technical file. In the header, you can type your project name, business name as reference and crane capacity. Once you have typed in the calculated axial load and tilting moment in relevant places, the selection tool highlights all the bearings and drives with corresponding colors. Scroll down to the list of bearings, click any of the selections and you will see how it is loaded in relation to its limit line. What do the colors mean? Overloaded, which is red, means the load is above the limit line. Barely minimum, which is yellow. Good selection, which is highlighted green, means they are recommended for your machine. The grey selections are still good for your machine, but they are way too large, and may be used if you have geometrical constraints that may require large size bearing. You can filter the results by diameter, size, and number of bolts, or any of features. It is very useful when you are searching for existing bearing replacement. We now have your bearing or drive selected. You can now print the results on paper or to PDF file for your project technical records. Free of charge Excel files are available to download from InBeuro website. We provide technical details and products of Tecma Drive.